Keeping up with your TV license is important as it's considered a priority debt. TV licensing can issue fines and take you to court if you fail to pay. Hi, I'm Scott from Money Ned, and today we're looking at everything to do with TV licenses. So what to do if you're struggling to pay your TV license, how you can ta cancel your TV license and get your money back, what if you've already missed a payment, what if you can't afford your direct debit payment, and the special group of people that can either get their TV license for free or get a reduced payment amount. So before we get into it, I just want to say I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give specific or individual advice. This is general information only. In fact, we're getting all of the information straight from the horse's mouth from the Money Helper website. This is a government-backed service and it tells you everything that you need. I'm just gonna summarize it for you in this video. Okay, let's get into it. So what to do if you're struggling to pay your TV license? Well, if you're worried about keeping up with your TV license payments, perhaps you've had a drop in e of income or an unexpected expense, this happens to everybody, then it's best to get in touch with TV licensing as soon as possible to explain your situation. If your drop in income is temporary and you expect it to go back up to normal soon, then the TV licensing can work out an affordable repayment plan for you. The best way to get in touch with them is to give them a call and you can find that number on the TV licensing website. You could also consider cancelling your TV license. It will save you that money and it might be a better choice if you don't see your income rising again. If you're experiencing financial difficulties and you meet certain other conditions, you might be eligible for a simple payment plan. The simple payment plan is basically created for people who are in financial difficulties and customers who qualify are able to choose fortnightly or monthly payments that spread across a 12 month period. This is different from the current payment plans that are provided by the TV licensing. The simple payment plan also offers the flexibility of payments missed. So if you miss a payment, you can take that payment that you missed and spread it out over the remaining period of time on your simple payment plan. Just be warned here, if you do miss multiple payments, I think it's three months of payments, then customers can be removed from the simple payment plan. Next, how can you cancel your TV license and get money back? If you don't think you can afford your TV license in the future or right now, uh, it might be best to cancel your TV license and get some of that money back. So a TV license costs £159 for colour and it's significantly cheaper for black and white. And you can cancel that and get some money back if you are no longer using it. So the definition of no longer using it is no longer able to watch or record programs that's being shown on any channel, no longer being able to watch or stream programs on any online TV service such as ITV Hub, All4, YouTube, Amazon Prime Video, Now TV and Sky Go, and you're unable to download and watch any BBC programs on iPlayer. Make sure you have the customer number handy as that's one of the first things that they'll ask for. Also, you can apply online for your refund up to two years after the expiry date of your license. So what if you've already missed a payment? Well, TV licensing are well aware that people are struggling with their debts at the moment. We've had energy crisis, we've had COVID, and all of this has put an extra pressure on paying our bills. And that does include our TV licensing as well. So at the moment, they're giving people breathing space, so they may not write to you if you do fall behind on your payment. How long that breathing space is, is anyone's guess. It depends on their policy at the time, but I have done some research, and on the TV license and website, they do have a section about breathing space, and they say that people can go into a, de a debt advice provider to apply for breathing space from their debts. A 60-day breathing space may be given. Now this is specifically for a debt solution, usually a debt management plan, where that debt management management plan company will write to the TV licensing and any other creditors that you owe and say, can you give this person breathing space so they can sort out their finances? This doesn't apply um, if you're not really going through a debt management plan. It might be that they give you 30 days, it might be that they give you 60 days, um, I don't know what their policy will be at the time that they're watching, at, at the time that you're watching this video. So if you've missed payments and you're on a payment plan, it's obviously best to try and keep up with those payments to keep your future payments as low as possible. If you can't keep up with your payment plan and you know you can't keep up with your payment plan, it's best to contact TV licensing as soon as possible and they'll try and help you the best they can. I'd advise giving them a call. They're low staffed at the moment due to COVID and other reasons and um, it means that they're gonna take longer to respond to emails and letters. Next, what to do if you can't afford a upcoming direct debit payment? Well, the Money Helper website says TV license is a priority bill, 
and you should only cancel a direct debit to a priority bill as a last resort. And if you can't find a way to afford your TV license, then it's best to get advice as soon as possible, especially if you've got other debts as well. And that's key, especially if you've got other debts as well. Going off script a little bit here, I remember when I was struggling financially, I'd have a direct debit payment coming out, and I knew that it was gonna push me into my overdraft. And being in your overdraft, they charge you fees and interest straight away. So that's something I didn't want to do. So I had to be very strategic about how I dealt with that. So I'd highly recommend that you do get advice as soon as you can. Okay, here's a list of people who are able to get a free TV license or a TV license at a reduced cost. The first group of people are people who qualify for pension credit. Pension credit tops up your retirement money if you're on a low income. A third of the people who are entitled to it don't actually claim it. If you or someone in your household is over 75 years old and claiming pension credit, then you can also claim a free TV license. Next, if you're in a care home and over 75 years old, even if you don't claim pension credit, you might not have to pay. The best thing to do is ask your care home manager if it has a accommodation for residential care TV license. And if they do have that type of TV license, then you would be covered and you wouldn't have to pay a TV license fee. If you're registered blind or severely sight impaired, you can get a 50% discount on your TV license in fee. Similarly, if you only listen to the radio, you don't actually have to pay for a TV license at all. Now in this video, we've talked a lot about debt and priority debts and prioritizing your debts. And all of this can be a little bit complicated. So I've created a whole new video where I've broken that down and you can check that out here. Other than that, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.